guys, B-Man here. How are you guys doing today? Today, we've got an awesome one for you guys. We have a way that you can do reset events, sellers, and any dungeon that you want, guys, without them having to be a nightmare dungeon. So you can, if you want to reset nightmare dungeons, I have another video on that, on how to do that, guys. But this video is going to teach you how to reset normal dungeons so that you can do the full dungeon, beat the boss at, end, at the end, and then without having to leave game, you can just go straight in and redo the dungeon over and over again so you can get your ancestral gear and all sorts guys now it's really good for that sort of stuff to redo your dungeons your of choice whatever one you like but it's also can be used to redo sellers guys and world events and stuff like that over and over again without having to quit game so that you can get things like your obols your obols so that you can use to, to be able to target farm legendary items of your choice so you can do it you get legendary stuff of whatever you choose right so you can use it for that to target farm up obol so you got heaps of them because all you need to do is you can just do the event of the wine cellar and then you can say leave and then you just go straight back in and you can do it again we'll show you that but with that said guys get down there smash that like button for me subscribe if you're not already and with that said let's get on to how to do all of this guys so guys for this glitch you're going to need to have a nightmare sigil right for a nightmare dungeon now it does not need to be the highest tier the tier won't matter it needs to be a tier for your world level so for us we're in tier tier world four so we just want to activate a sigil for a nightmare dungeon in world tier four which we have done and we've come to it so we're right here at our nightmare dungeon and we're going to go into the nightmare dungeon okay We've loaded into our Nightmare Dungeon. We're going to muck around in our Nightmare Dungeon for about 15 to 20 seconds. While I'm here, I might as well just add on my Paragon. I'm going to get up to here. Now that we've mucked around for 15 to 20 seconds in our Nightmare Dungeon, we're free to leave. Now that we've been into our nightmare dungeon and waited in there for a few seconds and left, we now need to go to a cellar. The cellar that I use myself is the one that's over here and it is right here. So you're free to copy that one and use that one. But use whatever cellar you can go to and complete quite easily. This is the next step. You need to go to a cellar and you need to complete the cellar. I'll come to the cellar right here and we'll complete the cellar. But any cellar, it does not matter what one you choose. Now for this one, I'm going to... I was going to do the other glitch, but we won't because we're doing this glitch. I need more time. If I kill all of them right on zero, I'll have unlimited spawn of these in the cellar too as another glitch. For this one, when you have the three hostages to save, if you let them kill them all. If right on zero, there is no enemies alive and it ends, then they keep respawning. We're not doing that this game, 
because I'm showing you guys that this makes the dungeons go unlimited. Look how hard that is. If you want to know about this glitch that makes these unlimited, watch my other video. I have a video on that. But all that we need to do in here is complete the cellar. So that's what we're doing right now. Right, this is completed. We can get our, our obols, which we're actually full. But now that we've done that, we can exit. Now we're in glitched state. From this point on, we're now in a glitched state, guys. Any dungeon that we go into of our choice, we can complete it completely, and we can just go straight back into it and do it again. Like the cellar, world events and everything, we no longer have to leave game for to reset everything. It just keeps resetting. See how the cellar has a tick on it, but if we enter the cellar, it is actually reset and we can do it again. We can do this over and over with cellars to be able to get the obols like we said, or the rewards, legendary weapons, and all sorts of stuff like you do from cellars. And you'll have chances of getting the loot goblins and all sorts of stuff like that. But as you see, every time we come into the cellar, it's just going to be reset. And we can go do our favorite dungeon, complete the dungeon, kill the boss at the end even, and the dungeon will have the tick on it when we say leave dungeon and come out. But we'll, it'll be fully reset when we go straight back in, guys. So it's awesome. You can just keep resetting whatever you want. Dungeons and target farm, whatever it is you're trying to target farm. Like us here, we can target farm the cellar or anything, guys. And as you can see right here, once you defeat the boss in a dungeon or you complete the dungeon whatever sort of dungeon it is and you can complete the dungeon completely now keep in mind you're not doing nightmare dungeons here you're doing the normal ones but once you complete them fully just leave dungeon via the wheel in that and then when you come out you can just go straight back in and the dungeon will be reset the dungeon will show that it's completed with a green tick but it will be reset fully for you to go through the boss there and everything and just go straight through and do it again guys simple as easy as this will work for absolutely any dungeon as long as you still have the nightmare dungeon still active if you go in and complete the nightmare dungeon that will ruin all of the glitch so just leave that nightmare dungeon until you're ready so that's why i say use a cheap sigil to get it guys but with that said guys we'll get in and i'll show you the two dungeons that i recommend that you use to do this with if you're wanting to do dungeons guys but as you see here it's reset straight after killing the boss so guys now that you know about how to target farm a dungeon and you can just keep running it over and over again guys the dungeons that i would suggest to run is this one right here which is iron hold and that one there has like um, two big packs of elites that you can farm in and that one's quite cool I like to farm that one because it's quick to easy you just run get the key off the one boss open the door go through kill the elites kill the other elites open the door kill the boss and you can keep re rinse and repeat rinse and repeating this one if you want now that one's cool I get a lot of loot from that one too but there is another one that's really good for loot this one here I've found is a god cave for legendary loots in that. You could also use it for this one. Just keep rinse and repeat, rinse and repeating. If you want really good caves to, well, dungeons to roll it over. Okay, guys. Now, also, if you want um, event ones to roll over, a really good one for events, just for the uh, um, cellar. There's a cellar that's over here, guys. Oh, sorry, not here. Where am I? Yes, it is here. Sorry. And there's a, uh, 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 quite a world event here, okay? So what you can do is you can do the event, then you go in and you do the cellar. You come out, the event's back. You do the world event, you can come in, do the cellar, okay? And keep doing that there. And this one has spiders cellar, which is really good, and they give the best XP. So that's a really good one to know and do as well. But with that said, there's cellars anywhere. Pick your choice and do the cellar that works for you. And obviously, thank you guys for watching my videos. Make sure you're subscribed. Just check that you're subscribed. If not, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. And of course, leave me an awesome comment. Have an awesome day. And I'll catch you in the next video. B-Man.